Yo guys, what is going on? So boy King through car back at the mic and I welcome you to this new fresh video in which I will be introduce you to a new strategy that I just got from our boy Harambi. And I thought hey let's just try it in one of my games. And this game here is Diamond 4. Uh, I tried that strategy on the top lane and I will be explaining to you during this gameplay what this strategy is about. But before I hop into that. I will just um, a little favor that you guys can do for me. Oh man, close one! A little favor that you guys can do for me, guys. As you can see at that uh, picture here, 65% of my uh, viewers are not subscribed to my channel, guys. And I had a goal at the beginning of this year. I said I want to reach 6k, 6k subscribers at the end of 2019. So we are, I think, 190 subscribers away from that, uh, from accomplishing that goal, guys. So if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Okay, you would make me very happy. So let's just hop into that game. As you can see, we are fighting against a Riven top lane. And I just found out that this strategy of my boy Harambi even works better on the top lane. I will be explaining to you why. The thing is, if you if you pick Wukong mid lane, you can end up facing a range melee champion, and farming will be will be maybe not that easy, you know. And also, if you take the mid lane, the thing is, you're taking away a very important lane, okay. And Wukong is a very bad champion, okay. So you are basically taking away a very important uh, lane and putting on that lane a useless champion. On the top of that, you might you might risk that your team will go full AD. So this is why I took it on the top lane. And I think the strategy works better on the top lane since you are not taking away a very important lane. Top lane is of course not an important lane. I think it's the worst lane at the moment in the current meta the strongest lane i think is uh the bot lane then jungle and then mid lane and then top lane so this is why this strategy i think is even better on the top lane so let me just uh <coughs> tell you all the details around this strategy so the thing is basically to sum it up guys it is basically like a talon built okay so what talon does is if he goes mid lane if talon goes mid lane he will uh, build this. He will build this Mubi boots, the yellow Mubi boots, and then he will just roam all day. And this is all about the new strategy from our boy Harambe is all about building Mubi boots and serrated dirk. And once you got these two items, you just run it down all day. And this is what I'm trying to do here, and I will show you in this gameplay how I did it. And we even, we even, not I, I even carried a, a troller in our team which was Syndra. Syndra was inting. She got mad and she just ran it down mid lane and we still won the game because of this new strategy guys. So we will be seeing that in a second. Let me just fast forward a bit. So okay guys so as you can see I got already this raid Dirk and this is what you want to do. You want to rush the Dirk and then the Moby Boots. I got 43 CS um and then i started the new strategy plan look at that so we are porting back here so i can grab the what's it called the Moby boots right here let me speed this up a little bit so right now i got the Moby boots going on boys look at that Moby boots and dirk and now you start all that roaming okay so you see me <laughs> the, se the second i got these items i just started to roam so i'm going mid lane first here because I, uh, I wanted to kill that gangplank. That gangplank, as, as you can see, is 3-0 and, oh, and is a 300 gold worth. But Poppy don't want it to help me here for some reason. She just went to uh, the blue and I pinged it again for Yasuo and told him, let's go and kill this guy here. So there's the first gang going on, guys. He just flashed away. And unfortunately, he had flashed, so this is why he managed to get away so this was the first gang uh the second i the second i got the the movie boots and dirk that guy did some some re really strange movements man so i decided just to loop around and go for another one 
since there there was a lot of action going on i thought okay we can go for another one here kind of i kind of waited for the perfect situation to engage here and almost killed him but it wasn't enough but in a second i will kill him though as you can see i'm not top lane and i lost three plates out of that so there is then the kill 600 i got paid off out of that one guys so if you are implementing this new strategy guys forget about forget about uh, farming okay <laughs> you're not gonna farm all you got all you're gonna do is just running around you, you're running around you're running mid lane bot lane or top lane whatever lane needs help you just run to that lane so as you can see nothing is going on on the minimap so this is why i'm heading top lane here to farm up these minions and once your ult is up i have a 23 uh, seconds cooldown on it right now once your ult is up you look for another lane to gank so this is me here trying to take as much minion as i can she's taking the turret so i just backed off a little bit to be safe here so now i got my ult up in three seconds you can say and this is the moment where you go for another gang so i wanted to protect the turret then i just noticed okay you can't protect the turret anymore the turret is gone but it's not a big deal so i got my ult up you can see i'm ganking again so there are am i ca there i'm coming guys there's the ult and there is another kill so right now we are two and one just because of two roams two kills guys two roams two kills it says it's that easy that's all about the new strategy and at this point gangplank was riding guys <laughs> he just rode um hey wukong are you bored or something why i <laughs> why you keep coming at the mid lane dude and i just texted him i just texted him you know what i said i just texted him hey these days you gotta be the top laner and the jungle at the same time though <laughs> so you can see syndra here when did she start to actually end? I, I don't remember exactly. So I went top lane because my um, ult is on cooldown. So whenever your whenever your ult is on cooldown or nothing special is happening on the uh, on the on the on the map, guys, you want to go for some CS. That's how you do it, okay? So here you can see me another gank that I'm gonna try here on the bot lane this time. So. I left the top lane and just went bot lane because my ult is about to come up here. I just took some CS on the top lane and then I headed bot lane. And I'm waiting here for the perfect situation. Also waiting for the, the ult. And it's all about the perfect situation, guys. So I was waiting until these people actually pushes the lane into that turret. So I can easily engage on these um, two enemies. So look at that. So sometimes what I... What I want to say here, what I'm, what I'm trying to say here, guys, is sometimes you got to be patient, okay? You got to be patient and wait for the perfect situation to actually engage. So you can see they are pushing in. This is the perfect moment for me. And this is why I'm decoying over here so they can see me. And you will see in a second I'm invis until here because of the movie boots. And I'm in E range right here. Boom, there is the ult. And there is the brand ult. G mother flippin' G. There's the double kill guy. There is the double double kill guys. That's that's how easy it is. So now of course you want to push it out because you need some CS. After all you need some CS guys. So this is why I'm pushing out this lane here. So you can see over here that Syndra is actually trolling. She was flaming all the time. Now she just went somewhere at the river and went AFK. Easy kill for her enemies of course. So she's basically anything here one four but still i carried this guys what i want what i'm trying to say again is just stay calm guys i didn't i didn't write anything guys i really i did not okay i did not write write a single word in this game i just uh focused on myself here and tried to apply as much gangs as i could okay and you can see, see you saw that even poppy is trolling man just because i took the blue <laughs> i mean i thought the blue is for me you know so this is why i took it and she just flashes away and she just wasted the flash so here's another situation as you can see where 
I just uh, carried the team fight. So we got one, two, three, four enemies against us. Three. So it's a three v four uh, fight right there. And they got very greedy. And look at that. Easy engage. Of course, with the movie spoo boots, it's easy to engage because of the movement speed. We got a kill over there, a double kill. And there is the, I think, triple kill. Triple kill over there. And this will be the quad war, I think. There is the quarter kill, guys, right there. This is what I'm talking about. So let me bring up the scoreboard real quick so you can see what I'm talking about here. So I'm down at CS so hard. You can see that, right? I'm, um, <clears throat> you can say 40, 50 CS down the ribbon. But I got 8 to 1. These are my stats. Look at that. Carrying these people, Syndra. <laughs> Meanwhile, 1 and 5. Because I told you, man, she was just trolling around the down mid lane. And still, we won the game, guys. So this is, again, this is, again, a very perfect situation where you just farm, okay? Where you take CS. Whenever something is not happening on the on the minimap, okay? When everyone is just farming or just um, respawning. And you, your ult is on cooldown. This is the time where you want to go for some farming action, okay? So here I'm, I'm gonna try to point out something else. It's the way you engage as a Wukong. So as you can see, we are really down. You can see we took no turrets. All the turrets are alive. Uh, meanwhile, we lost three turrets. But now you can see our comeback here just because of my roams, guys. Just because of the roams, we actually made a comeback because I just bought some time for my team to make a comeback, actually. You know what I'm saying? So the more time you can buy for your team, the better... Um, the better are the chances that you're gonna win this game. Okay, so this is this is the whole point uh, behind that strategy. Okay, so you wanna help your team. This is the whole point behind that um, strategy. So now we are spawning the the herald here, as you can see. And look at me. Look where where I'm sitting. You see that? That's right. I'm I'm sitting far behind, so I'm not giving away my my position. The enemies, they don't know where I am. That's right. They don't know. So they are, maybe, they are confused and asking themselves, hey, where is Wukong? Because Wukong can just engage on us and one shot us. So this is why you don't want to give away your position, okay? So you want to stay behind and look for the right target. So what I was looking for was um, the Caitlyn, of course. But the Caitlyn, you can see she's around there. And she had the Yumi on her next to her in this case so i was waiting for someone to appear over here and then to engage on them so i'm sitting far behind as you can see and we caught just the ribbon over there with the stun of of the syndra and then we actually managed to kill her meanwhile harold just took the, the the turret over there you can see a lot of action going on and there is Yumi, she's alone. This is the perfect situation where you can just jump on that Yumi and kill her. That's basically it guys. That's basically it. So, there's no point to watch that um, gameplay till the end because right now it's all about um, team fights and engage moments. And I just showed you one, the last one right here. And I think this is enough. I don't want this video to be too long, guys. But I will sum it up again for you guys. What this new strategy is about. So the new strategy of my boy Rambi. Um, is to actually just farm. Farm, farm, farm. Until you get your Dirk. And the movie boots. Once you got the Dirk and the movie boots. You just want to constantly parma. You want to parma roam. Okay, you want to play Wukong just like Talon, if you want to say so, okay? Just like another Talon. So this is all about, guys. You want to run it down all the time. Keep on ganking. Don't stop the gank train. That's all about the new strategy, okay? That's the new strategy. And just write it out here in Diamond 4. If this works in Diamond 4 and even higher, then it might work for you in lower ELO. With that being said, guys, don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And have a wonderful day as always. And we see each other in the next video. Peace.